Hello, everybody. We are live. All right, let's get started. Let's get set up. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Let me uh, pin this. And then post it. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing today? Morning. Happy Monday. How is everybody? Are we good? Yes. Let's see if we could try something fun. Do you like my typing face? <laughs> okay. How's everybody doing today? Good. Chilling at home. Good. Hey. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. I know it's totally Monday. The days are so blending together. I don't know about you, but I, um, I think it was yesterday. I thought it was Friday and I was like, oh, it's the weekend, except the weekend is over. Ha <laughs> ha. What did you guys do on the weekend? Hmm? Hi, we've got everybody coming in from Spain. Oh, just woke up. Amazing. Thank you for setting your alarm up for this. I know it's a little bit early um, for us folks at the on the West Coast, but I know it's also what 6 p.m. in the in the UK and it's 12, just about lunchtime in New York. And it's it's just fun, is it not? <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, welcome to Manny Monday. My name is Winnie, your CND brand ambassador. I know you could be anywhere at your home doing anything right now, but you're here with us. And that means the world. <laughs> Today, for Manny Monday, we are doing something different. So a couple of days ago, my pals and I were just talking, my design lab buddies, we were like, I miss you guys, because I miss hugs and nail art laughs and, and um, lots of interaction. <laughs> so we came up with this bright idea and we're like, hey, why not let's do like a nail art throwdown? Because we're seeing a lot of lives happening right now and we wanna do something fun. Because if we're not having fun, then is it even worth doing? Right? Yes. I'm so glad you're ready. Cool cupcake, hey! So, this is how it's gonna work, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with a nail art style. And I'm also gonna come up with a theme, a color scheme that you could um, work with. And we're gonna invite two other, other artists to join us on this, um, on this throw down. And then we will see what they have up their sleeves. So today, as your host, obviously, if you know me, you would know that I have lost my marbles a long time ago. And that's why I am very obsessed with marbling. <laughs> so um, I thought that, you know, what better way to start off this throw down with a simple marble look. Just because there's so many ways to achieve this look it's crazy the potential and the possibilities you can achieve, right? So we're gonna do a, a marble nail style. And I think just to keep things simple, I like I really like the monochromatic, like monotone type look. So today it's gonna be black and white. And if you're crazy enough, you can also throw in a gray because why not? And also, each artist that we invite will also be able to throw in like a wild card. So basically, for that wow factor, you can do whatever the heck you want to do. <laughs> Just as long as it looks pretty. Because we like pretty. 
<laughs> Morning, Lise and Jackie. Hi, thanks for joining us. So if you're just joining in right now, we're doing a nail art throwdown. And I don't think I've ever seen this done before. Um, we're going to be having two different artists joining us live, okay? Um, even though Instagram, we can only have one person, um, we're gonna make this work. So it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. So joining me today, my very, very much love is um, Shalina Robinson. And my other very, very, very love is Tracy Lee. We are the design lab buddies that anybody can have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great so we will be calling them up soon but first I must show you as your chairman of this nail art throwdown I must show you how I do my very simple quick and easy black and white marble all right are you guys ready hands up hands up if you're ready I want to see I want to see Yes, yes. Cool. Okay, so just gonna do you enjoy my double chin here? Like, yes. I'm gonna flip you over. Woo. All right. So for those of you who don't know me, uh, I am Winnie, your CND brand ambassador. You can find me on Winnie is Awesome. Today, we're going to be demonstrating a very simple black and white marble using CND shellac gel polishes. So um, as you know, the nail style is marble. And today I'm going to be using Studio White, Black Pool, and something that I'm currently very obsessed with, White Wedding. You know why? White Wedding is so great for layering. It's so great for uh, giving it that subtle look. So this is the look we're going for today. It's very soft uh very simple uh and very easy and i will show you exactly how we're going to do it so here we have two coats of studio white applied already onto this nail um you're going to you're going to cure in between each coat uh, obviously, if you're performing this on natural nail, you would uh, perform the whole system starting off by base coat. And don't forget to seal that free edge. So afterwards, you're going to come in with your black pool. And just using the brush straight out of the bottle, grab a good amount. Let's see if I could show you the amount here. So grab a good amount here, and you're just going to simply draw a diagonal line across the nail, like so. Doesn't look much like anything, does it, right now? But that's okay. So I have, coming in next, I have a round brush that is clean and dipped in isopropyl alcohol 99%. And I'm just gonna come in through the nail and diffuse that color. It doesn't have to look exactly like anything. I What I like to do is clean my brush in between each uh, each wipe swipe through the nail and you see you can maneuver the color and give it that line without having to use like a fine liner brush or anything like that and it's so simple just like that it's uh I, you could play with it a little bit more, but honestly, this is probably the easiest way I could do it.
So now I want you to mind the clear space, the white space, right? So right here, there's white here, there's white here. Um, with Without making the nail looking too muddy, we want to dip our um, brush into the IPA again and just clean off that white space where so that you could uh, see more distinctive lines, right? So um, how fast, how fast was that? That was literally maybe a minute or two and that's one nail, just like that. And I think, honestly, I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna put it into my CND LED lamp, into the cooker it goes. So once you have something like that, once it's curing and it's done, take it out. Ta-da! That's what it looks like. Now, you could totally stop here. No one is saying that you can't because, honestly, this looks just as pretty as um, what I'm about to do next. Uh, what I have been doing a lot lately is layering, and it allows me to create that sort of uh, you know, like dimension without making things too thick. So this is white wedding. White wedding looks like this. It's very sheer. Uh, it doesn't give off. It still has that milky feeling and it doesn't, it's not too, uh, out there. So if you don't have White Wedding, what do you do? Uh, find Romantic. Romantic works too. It's also sort of, it's got a pinkish tone, but it also has that sheer effect. So what we're going to do, we do not layer after top coat, not yet. So what we're going to do, this is uh, one, two coats of Studio White plus the, the, uh, black pool that we had already cured. You're going to come up with white wedding. And just really diffuse that line. Yeah. So once it's looking a little bit diffused, it's it's softer and it's like more blended. Um, you can see some of the lines are, some of the lines are are more blended than usual than others, which is the effect that I'm going for, and I love that. Cool. So once, once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and cure it. So that was really simple and easy, right? So we're all about building layers and making things look more interesting. Um, you could totally stop there and then just apply top coat and all that stuff. And, or you can also be crazy like me and do something like this. So this would be my wild card. So on a nail, I mean, on a palette, <laughs> on a palette, we're going to be taking out some black pool while our nail is cooking in the cooker. So you're going to use, come in with a liner striper brush and you're going to dip your brush into black pool. You do not have to apply the top coat after two coats of white. Okay. So this is what's happening. So we had just cured uh, the other layer of white wedding on top of our nail art look. So everything is very soft and diffused and we like that. So what you're gonna do, I think I'm just gonna come in with my striper brush and I'm gonna apply some really, um, Oh, yeah, sorry, one step I had forgotten. So if we're going to be applying this um, 
silver foil on top of this look. What you would wanna do, this is the silver foil we're going to be using. What you would wanna do is apply your top coat now. The reason for that is because we want the top coat to adhere I mean, we want the foil to adhere to the lines that we're going to apply later on. The silver foil is just the trans adhesive trans transfer foil. Okay, so once it's in, uh, once you've applied the top coat, cure it. And what we're going to do is, once it's cured, we're going to come and cleanse it so that the foil later on does not adhere to anything else other than the black lines that we're going to be applying, okay? Okay, so the nail is cleansed. It's not sticky. I've got my black pool here and my striper brush. I'm going to apply the lines sort of like, I think this would be a good option here. I'm kind of liking how diffuse this is. So maybe I'll do this. Hey, thanks for joining us. Um, the top coat that we had used was the Express 5 shellac top coat. And you could uh, vary your pressure on the nail. The pressure you use on the nail will determine how thick the lines are. Okay, so that's one line. And then I will draw another line. Oh yeah. What do you do when you don't have IPA? Um, just go in with a clean brush. As long as the brush is clean, you'll be able to diffuse the line. Okay, so I think that's the two lines that I'm going to draw. Thanks, guys, for answering the questions. As you know, it's a little delayed and it's a little bit hard <laughs> to multitask. <laughs> this is great. Don't use water. Just use a clean brush. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this. So I am curing it on the 2S button and it's going to cure in my CND LED lamp for 60 seconds. I did, hey Jess, I did top coat uh, after white wedding because we're going to be applying uh, transfer foil onto the nail and we don't want the transfer foil to stick. By the way, if you guys are ever wondering, CND shellac is amazing for transfer foils. Um, you could like do a whole entire nail full of transfer foil. So this foil is just a silver foil that I had uh, picked up somewhere in the house because I like it because it's sort of like prismatic is that is that the word um sort of holo holographic yeah i like it i like it a lot okay so now that our nail is ready for the transformation this is the wild card we're just going to be ta-da ta-da look how good it is at taking on the foil. Check it out. Like, look at that. Immediately transferred. 
it just like it sticks onto the thing so beautifully. And that's it. That is it. That is all I'm going to do to this nail. So after that, you can see a little black peeking out, which is totally fine because it's fine. We like that. Um, the best part about marbling is that you don't, there's no like specific way it has to look. So it's great. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to seal off with Express 5 top coat and call it a day. So that's it, guys. This is my very, very simple nail art look for marble. What do you guys think? You do. You need to top coat over the, over the foil just to seal everything off and a complete step. Hee hee. Okay, so that's me as your chairman. Chair, chairman? <laughs> <laughs> that's me that's how i would marble what do you guys think you like it you like it so next up we have someone very very special to my heart her name is shalina robinson and i'm going to invite her to show us her marble where's shalina there she is Dun dun dun, waiting for Shalina. <laughs> Hello, I don't know. I don't know. I may be in over my head. Um, Stop I've been thinking it. about this all weekend. I am up against the marble queen. Even though you've lost your marbles, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do such an amazing job with marbling. Um, and then. I've got the brains of the operation, Tracy Lee. I don't know a more intelligent yeah. woman um, that is more artistic. So between the two of you, like I, I had to think really hard all weekend long <laughs> what to do that might Stop entertain it. people. No, you so are I, the greatest. Um, I, I'm. That's that's a nice compliment. Thank you. You know, I don't like hearing that. So, um, <laughs> but. I was thinking long and hard, and I've been hearing this some things about this technique called a one-stroke marbling technique. Yes. And if anybody knows me, um, I've had multiple people try to teach me how to do one-stroke art, and I'm not good at it. So I spent my weekend playing, and I think I've got some tips and tricks for this particular technique um, that you might want to try on. Oh, so I would let's love go that. camera. So okay. for those of you who don't know, Shalina Robinson is the team lead for the blondes at New York Fashion Week. She's amazing. The things that come out of her head is just crazy. I can't even. <laughs> so let's see if we can kind of zoom in a little closer. So this is the look that I created using my marbling technique. Um, and I took on Winnie's challenge of using black, white, gray. And then I actually, my wild card was actually two things. Because, you know, as I worked with this technique, I had to figure out some tips and tricks. So I threw in some gold because I wanted to play with these lovely little gold flakies that I got from a company called Social Claws. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a nail that has... This technique is using CND shellac. And as Winnie said, um, if you were working on a real nail, you're going to use the CND shellac system, starting with the base coat. If you're a pro, you can log in a pro on, as a pro on cnd.com and download those step by steps if you aren't familiar with them or just need a refresher. So this starts with two layers of cream puff shellac. Um, each layer has been cured for one minute using button number. Um, 2S on the CND LED lamp, and we're ready to start our art process. And what we're going to do is we're going to take Clearly Pink, which is my second wild card, because this technique relies on the ability of the product to flow. Winnie was using IPA, um, isopropyl alcohol, to move the pigments around. Basically, that's what we're doing when we're marbling. We're moving the pigments around and we're adjusting 
where the placement is to create depth. So this technique starts with a layer of clearly pink over top of cream puff, and we're not going to cure it. So this that, is an uncured layer of clearly that pink. That is so cool. I had, I never thought that you could do that. Like, usually when you're doing the one brush, brush stroke and stuff, you're just like using the brush going in, but that clearly right? pink is like that secret weapon. It's a secret it? weapon that really, um, because it, some people don't use um, a clearly pink layer, but what I found is that I get a lot more movement in my product, and it gives me a much more beautiful marble effect. Yes. yes. So now here's the one-stroke technique. For this, you're going to need a palette, which you can see underneath, and then you're going to need a flat brush. Um, and this is just a short, square, flat brush. And we're going to start off with black pool, and we'll simply take our black pool and we're going to draw a nice line. Here's my other tip with this particular technique. The order you put your colors down can play an effect in how your colors lay. So I like to start with the darkest and go to the lightest. And the thickness of the lines will also play into how much marbling effect you get. Because I have a white base, you'll notice that my white line is going to be a little skinnier because I just don't need as much white in this. I want more black and I want more gray. And what's, what's that gray you used in the middle? That gray is called Mystic Slate. So we have black oh. pool at the top. We have Mystic Slate, which I love this gray. Love. Um, it's got a little hint of blue in it. It's beautiful. Uh, and then Cream Puff. You could use White Wedding if you wanted a little bit more translucency. And now it's time to pick up your product. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in. If I want the black to hit the nail first, I want to make sure that I scoop my product starting with my white into my black. And you can see that as I roll that brush over, the first color that's going to hit the nail is going to be the black. And that's what I want because I want that that to be dominant. So I'm just going to move my palette out of the way. And we're working over top of our wet clearly pink. And you can see how it just starts to flow a little bit. Wow. So I recommend again, you play with the pickup. If you want a little more white this time, pick up from the other direction. Um, or if I want more black, I can do that. Uh, for those who are wondering how to get rid of the comments, just swipe right. Um, then you'll be able to get Thank rid of Thank you for comments. that, Winnie. So again, if you want a little less color, as Winnie said, you can simply clean off your brush and I can come in and I can continue to manipulate and I'm using that layer of clearly pink as my solvent instead of using IPA. Love. See, that's what I'm talking about. So many different ideas on how to achieve the same effect. Exactly. If you want a little bit more line work while the product is still wet, you can come in and create some additional veining. And you'll notice that the clearly pink is acting as a solvent and it's dispersing my product for me. Wow, I love that, Shalena. That looks amazing. So that's a way to quickly create depth with sort of a one-stroke marbling technique. This could go into the lamp. We're going to cure it using button 2S for one, min one minute. And then when it comes out, it's still going to have that little bit of a sticky layer to the top of it. And we're going to then be able to use that top film, that sticky top film that's left behind with a brush to apply a little bit of our gold flaky if we like to add an extra element. Gold flakes have, have a, a special place in my heart. <laughs> I know, I but you noticed one. I've got them all over my glove. <laughs> that's the one thing about glitter. 
and flake. It's the best problem to have. It's better, yeah. So once you've got your gold flake on, simply press that into that top film until it's nice and clean. And I recommend you play with top coats. So I'm going to use our original top coat, but I love the effect you get when you use a matte top coat over the top of a marble as well, because it creates an added um, definition to the stone and it makes it look a little bit more realistic at times. So we'll go ahead and we'll apply our top coat to this to just pop our color. Hey, Shalina, can you move your nail tip a little bit up? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Comments? Some, yeah, no, some people are having trouble getting rid of the comments, so we can, okay. that's why we can see, yep. get a better look at the nail tip. That is so pretty. So easy, right? It's so really simple. a simple technique um, and it doesn't require any time. So that's what I like is it mimics the fact that it's it's very similar to yours in a way, but a little bit more, you know, it's got its own unique um, feel to it as well, but it's equally as fast and easy. For sure. And so when you're um, doing this on a client, would you recommend doing like how many fingers at a time you think, or one finger at a time? Actually, I, I think I could do all five fingers at the same time. The beauty of CND shellac is that it has a little bit of solvate in it. So as it's setting up, um, it, it doesn't move and roll. As long as you're not using too much product, you should be fine be, to be able beautiful. to do all five. So awesome. play with color. Here's a couple other options. Like I was just playing, like I said, all weekend long, like playing with different colorways, um, black and textured with, with the stone effect with the mat on top of it. But it's a fun way to just kind of play with things and you get like some fun and crazy, uh, beautiful effects. Like just with three colors, you can do so much and just uh, a yeah. simple technique. That's it. So when this is think? all over, you're going to be doing that on my nails, right? Okay. I would love to do that. I would love that, Winnie. I'm looking love forward it. to the next time we can get together. Wow. That's amazing. You are such a master. Shalina Robinson, everybody. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy and just can't wait. I know Tracy Lee is going to have something super special for us as well. I cannot wait. Thank you for joining us. Yes, you guys take care, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, my God. How crazy was that? <laughs> okay, so, wow. That was Shalina's trick. I am going to try that right after this live. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what my friend Tracy Lee Nails has up her sleeve. She's always got... Oh! What? Poor connection. Excuse me? <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Oh! Ah. <laughs> you there you are. No ways. Hold, just hold on a minute, guys. We got told we are doing this throwdown, and nobody said to me we are doing marbling because, like Shanina said, the marble queen here. How oh, do you please. compete with that? Although, Winnie, I must say, Shalina did a damn good job. Oh, I know. She right? was crazy. I think the beauty of this whole thing is there's so many ways to achieve one look. And just by saying marbling, like, it could be done so many ways. So don't get too hard on yourself when you can't, when a certain technique doesn't work for you. Like today, like, the, Shalina just achieved something that I try to do, you know. So <laughs> it, in a completely different way, and it's beautiful. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. So you know what I, I I felt I felt the pressure right. So I thought I am going to take it to a completely different level because, quite honestly, what's happening? We're all sitting quarantined at home, and yes. how often can you do your nails with a shellac? 
once every two, three, four weeks. And so I thought, but hold on a minute. What about those people that are stuck at home and are not able to get to their favorite nail pro? Um, we want to give them a little something that they can also do at home. And for the nail Absolutely. pros there, what about doing something to inspire your clients? So we don't want them running out and buying shellac. We want them to take the products that they've got at home while they're missing their nail pro and give them a little bit of inspiration on how they can play around with their own nails until they can get back to us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. You're so thoughtful. I'm very thoughtful. <laughs> Not that I'm going out of the challenge. I'm sticking to the rules. I'm doing marbling. I'm Ooh. sticking to my white and black. And uh, my secret element is a little bit of a silver. I'll tell you the colors in a secchi. And we're going to do some water marbling. Water marbling is my nemesis. Every time, every single time I've tried, my cup just end up looking like like a bomb <laughs> exploded. Like it doesn't it, it matter what it is. It was marbled and the nail wasn't, right? <laughs> That's my challenge. So I'm so excited to see this because you are the queen of everything. <laughs> we'll Seriously. If it, if, when it works out. So yeah, it's not, um, so it, it's something for the nail pros to do at home. It's something that I've been doing with my daughter as well, because I'm, wow. I mean, she, she's 12. So it's, I can't put shellac on um, for, I'm getting some messages. I can't put shellac on her, I, but I want her to be involved. I want her to try something different. So we've been playing around uh, with it at home. So yeah, play, play with your kids. Uh, send messages out to your clients and say, listen, this is something you can try at home because I can guarantee you they, they may not get it the first time and they're going to be loving you even more when they do get to see you. Hey, we've got all the times on our hands right now, right? Exactly. Now is the so time I, to perfect it. <laughs> I'm going to flip you over. Okay. You it's um, Guys, we're calling this the double chin challenge. <laughs> How many double chins can you get in there? Exactly. Winnie, I don't have a double chin. I've, I've, con I've, contoured it. I've contoured it away. So what are the secrets? Well, before we go, let's have a look what we're going to create. So there are my marble techniques. Wow. Right? And like you were saying, the great thing about marbling, there is no right, there is no wrong. It is just you know what? It's so great. It, it, it never looks wrong. It's not like a stamp that you need to have it exactly the same every time. Um, and that's just, that's just amazing. Can you so, bring it closer? I, let me take my phone down a little bit. Zoom in. Oh, look at that. You guys, this makes me so excited. This makes my heart so happy. Just the way it's like, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. So there are a couple of a couple of tricks to this though, um, and one of the things that is essential is the right temperature of the water. So um, depending on the polish that you're going to be working with, the the demo I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using Creative Play, and I found that with Creative Play, the best temperature to do uh, the water marbling at is at room temperature. So with creative play, you don't want it too hot. You don't want it too cold. You just want it at room temperature, right? And we're talking about creative play nail lacquer? Yes, exactly. Okay. Right, right. And then if you are going to try this with Vinylux, that's a different story. You need to work uh, with your water really cold because Vinylux is going to set up a little bit quicker. So by mm -hmm. keeping it cold, it allows it to flow um, a lot easier in uh, in the water. So just really important uh, to play around with it to see what is the right temperature to, for you to work with with the polish that you've got at home. It's not essential for you to go out and buy some new polishes. Use yes. this opportunity to you you know to play with what you've got. Yeah. So so if you better if understanding you find, of your polish. Exactly. And if you feel that it's not working out as it should, then play around with the temperature of the water. 
Got it. Right. So here I have my room temperature water. And according to the rules of the throwdown, we have got the black, uh, black and forth. I'm going to be working with I blanked out. And I'm also going to be using the creative clay chop coat as part of the water marbling. Mm -hmm. And then my, yeah, my secret weapon. Do, 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 do. Oh. It is I love it. splurge. Right. And this is going to, you'll see when it gets into the water and it spreads out, it's going to give you that uh, shimmer, sheer effect that when your nail hits the light, it is going to create the most amazing effect. So let's get started. So first step, I'm going to take the eye blanked out because I've created, well, let me just tell you what my base nail is. I've got two layers of eye blanked out on my nail and I've allowed it to dry really well because you don't want to be popping it into water when uh, it's still wet. So pop them, uh, let them dry really well. Then take eye blanked out and you will see as I apply my first drop, it already starts, you can hardly even see it. It just starts fading out immediately, which is going to give you that great marble fade effect. Now I'm taking uh, black and forth, popping down a drop. Oof, I love, I love it when it does that. I love that. And it slowly starts fading out. Now I'm going to take urge to splurge. And then once I take the top coat, you'll start seeing how it moves as well with the top coat in there. So depending on how much black you want, depending on how light you want it or how dark you want it, you can, do, you can play around with the amount of layers that you want to do. Obviously, if you're working with a uh, vinyl lux, it is going, you need to work a little bit quicker than you would when you're working with uh, creative play. Right, so when you start doing your marbling, I'm using a dotting tool for this. I wouldn't go outside of your rings because by going outside, you're actually going to affect the shape of it. So start doing your marbling from the inside. And you can twirl it around. And get Ooh. to it. Isn't that looking great? I love that. And you can start seeing, because I'm talking so much and we've got so much light on here, the outside, can you see that? The outside has already started to dry a bit, but not to worry. I've got the effect that I need right there in the middle. And now I'm going to take my tip with the two layers of I blanked out, and I'm just going to press it straight into that effect that I want and hold it there and take a, a nail wipe or take your dotting tool and remove the excess from your nail smart right that because is what you, i struggle with every time <laughs> because if you turn your thing the finger around and you pick up that extra marbling <gasps> wow right that is so, amazing so a completely different effect to what we've got on the other tips because it's going to be absolutely Oh, yes, let's scratch it. It's going to look totally different each time you pop it into the water. Hmm. But now, so I'm going to wait for that to dry. I can't top coat it right now. But it's okay when you're working on a tip, right? It's so easy to show you on a tip and say, look, uh, that's how you do it. And you just uh, turn your color pop around. Meanwhile, the back of my color pop is looking absolutely shocking. So a lot of people say, yeah, okay, that's great. But what do you do when you've actually physically got a client? Because you can imagine that all that color is sitting on the back of the client's finger as well. So there are a couple of things that you can do about it. And that's when we come in with the... Ooh, hey, application you, tips. Right? Dun, 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 do you like dun, dun. my? Do you, do you like these fancy effects that I've created? I love right? it. Cool, huh? Right. So this is my extra bonus. So 
here we have, let's call her Handy, right? And uh, so you can imagine if I'm going in with Handy and I'm doing that marble and I drop her hand into it, her entire finger at the back here is going to be covered with polish. Um, so it's not a crisis because you could use your polish remover or your acetone to remove it um, off the skin. But a couple of tips that I want to share with you. You do get a latex tape, which you can apply around the finger. And the great thing about the latex tape, so I'm going to do one over here. All you would need to do is apply a thin layer around the entire finger. And normally, depending on the technique that I'm going to be doing, I would only need to apply it to the top of the finger. However, with the water marbling, because you immerse the entire finger, what I would recommend you doing is apply a thin coat to the back of the finger as well. Mm, smart. A, a couple of things to take into consideration. Make sure that you and your clients are not allergic to latex. That is very important. And what we're going to do now is wait for that to dry. But I've already pre-prepared a nail over here to show you how that, what it looks like when it started to dry, which is this finger over here. And all you need to do is simply, doesn't that look nasty? Uh, it's do, actually quite satisfying watching that come off. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. I love it. That's nasty, right? So, so that's one of the things that you can do. But obviously, we don't all have uh, latex uh, at home or these barrier uh, creams or whatever at home. So another one, which is really great, is that you can simply take some sellotape and, oops, you can move your camera. All I'm doing is taking a piece of tape and you can wrap it around the underside of the finger and up along the lateral side walls. Right? Love it. Yeah. But that's the first part. And then you can tuck it underneath. So you are creating that barrier underneath. And then you want to put another piece on the top to hold it in place. Oh, so that's how you keep your nails clean. Exactly. Wow. And then okay. like, got it. Right? So it's yeah. protected like that. There's a very small amount of skin that is showing, which would be um, really easy to clean up either with a, a Q tip or something like that. But that really protects your finger underneath and on the top. And that's like a real DIY solution at For home. Sure. For sure. Awesome. So, Those are great tips, Tracy. Thank you so much. And and like I said, water marbling is the greatest nemesis <laughs> of all time. I cannot, for the life of me, try it out. But honestly, after your tutorial, I'm going to go and I'm going to do it. I'm going to cool. do it, Tracy. And, I, and I'll see a question there. Where do you get the latex? I mean, you know, there are a lot of um, drug stores and things like that that sell it just please be sure that if you can't wear latex gloves, it's not something you're not going to be able to use this. Uh, I think they call it a, a liquid, a liquid tape or something like that. Mm -hmm. And there are so many, I think I've seen other people mix. Uh, what is it? The, the glue, the white glue, the oh, Elmer's yeah. glue. And then, yeah. So there's so many ways we could totally explore into that. Now, Tell me a little bit about yourself. Let's uh, give yourself a little advertisement here. What are you up to? What am I up to? Well, I, I don't understand that people are saying they're bored at the moment. I haven't had a moment of boredness yet because there's just the kids are at home. They're doing online education or they're doing their online schooling. And um, well, I, I as you know, I've got a, uh, my own business, which is Beauty Tutors, that is uh, online education, online nail edu education as well. So I'm busy doing exciting classes for that and keeping the nail pros out there inspired and motivated, just like what CND is doing. So, yeah, and I got to meet, I got to meet you because uh, you handle, handed your NTNA title over to me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That's 
so great. Thank you so much for all the tips. We love you. And um, uh, hang in there. Stay safe. And we will see you soon. Thanks, Winnie. Love you lots. Love you too. Wow, you guys, that was an amazing event. Thank you so much for spending such a long time with us. I know an hour is a little bit um, longer that you want to spend. Um, but honestly, this is so great. Like I said, marbling, the technique itself is so um, versatile. There are so many ways you can achieve this look. And there is no right or wrong way, as you can see, all three looks were beautiful now if you want to see more from us i am winnie is awesome shalina rombison is shalina 2002 and tracy lee um her instagram is tracy lee nails uh we'll be sure to mention all three names so that you could refer back to the nail styles we'll also uh probably will be uh posting a video on how we actually achieved a look like a more in-depth look maybe if you guys are into that and honestly thank you for joining us i hope you enjoyed this nail art throwdown and if you want to see more let us know and i will see you wednesday because it's me again you can't get rid of me ha <laughs> ha okay i love you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you soon bye